What is up, my love? Mwah! Hugs and kisses to you. I pray everybody is doing well. I love how when I go on this video, my eyes look dark. They're actually like light. It's so funny. How are you? Holiday wishes. Merry Christmas and this Happy New Year that's about to come. Happy, happy, happy. I'm proclaiming it over us in Jesus' name. Listen, I just wanted to come on real quick because I wanted to discuss a post that I had posted yesterday about dating. Listen, there are some things that I am just praying through. There are so many prophecies of things that I am to do that constantly keep repeating itself and I already operate in that vein but my heart is if you know me my heart is to help people be healthy come out of trauma find solutions to their hurt and pain and let God heal them so that they can find the good way amen and, you know, in a post, you can't, I can't just go on and on and on and on. It just gets to be too much. And when somebody posts something that just goes on and on and on, I ha I'm like skimming and then enough. I'm sorry. I'm not in my usual place to do my video. Let me see if this works. And, um, but I want to be transparent with you because especially for women, I want to talk to you women. I know that a lot of women are out there traumatized. I know because I've been one. I'm so proud of myself. I have to share this testimony with you and give God all the glory due in front of the whole world. Whoever watches this video. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so y'all know I broke up with somebody about probably two, two and a half years ago. And I haven't dated since because... Let me give you a key. Number one key is when you've already been in love or fell in love or were falling in love or had a relationship for a significant amount of time and you've been with somebody, you don't just jump out of that relationship and go into another relationship because all you're really doing is bandaging up that wound. You are not healing the parts of you that have been hurt. Okay, so number one, I haven't dated in a couple years. I haven't because I needed to get over that person. I needed to process the parts of the relationship that were bad and to teach myself through the instructions of God and the leaders over me as to how to navigate through a hurtful relationship, how to not remain in trauma, how to move forward, and secondly, which is really important, learn how to trust again. Amen. Um, it is hard out here. People are not themselves. People are lying, are scamming, are, let's just put it this way. The devil ups his game. Like, this last package was even better than the one before. And the one before that was, you know, was better than the one before that. So the devil keeps wrapping packages even more uh, enticing, let's say, for you to fall for it. But the... But the, the the key is, are you rooted and grounded in God? Are you rooted and grounded in your healing? Are you rooted and grounded in the solutions? Are you rooted and grounded and free from toxic um, traits and habits? And are you rooted and grounded to the point where you don't have to settle for a relationship where someone has not healed themselves. Amen. So, like I said, I finally opened myself up. I met this very kind man um, in person. I don't do the online dating apps and whatever. Um, mm -mm. So, I, I met him in person. Hit it off. 
laughing like crazy. I love to laugh. I love to have fun. I love to laugh. Hit it off like crazy, man. I don't give out my number. So he happened to get a piece of paper and wrote down his number. And he said, you know, call me if you, if, if you feel up to, if you would like to. So I waited. I prayed. I said, well, I don't know. Let me say, you know, make sure I'm ready. Make sure that, you know, I want to reach out. So I waited about, I think it was like two, three days. Not to play the hard to get game. Nah, that's not it at all. It was to just make sure that this is what I wanted to do. And so I finally made the call. And when I made the call, we talked for three and a half hours. We laughed like crazy. We discussed everything under the sun. The next day, and, and constant texting, which is, which is important. Communication is so important. And then the next day, an hour and a half, amazing texting, you know, small phone calls in between. How you doing? Where you at? What are you doing? You know, small stops just to, just to say hi, you know, um, and I was like, wow. This man had a good job, like a great job. Had his own home, own car, own business. He was not in a relationship for a few years. Um, prior to that, he was in a relationship for 28 years. Stable, um, not a social media person. Didn't have to worry about that. I mean, check, 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 check. All these things, you know, if you got a list, it was all happening. So then it came time to um, spend some quality time together, you know, because we have to get to know each other. We can't just like stop, hi, how you doing, whatever, a little bit this, you know, and then, but so now it's time to spend time together. So I offered, I'm Italian, I cook, um, I can make cheesesteaks and my son loves cheesesteaks and I don't buy the, the chopped steak. I buy the shaved, shaved steak. So I said, listen, I'm going to make you this sandwich. She's like, oh, I'm the best cook. I watch cooking shows and all that, which is another plus, right? I'm like, all right, all right, whatever, you know? So we finally got together. I made dinner, um, went to his house, made dinner, and he couldn't believe it. He's like, this white girl can cook. Yes, I can. He couldn't believe it. I had like about four or five fist bumps. He was just over. I'm like, really? Like, I'm like, so the bad part was that he said he doesn't drink, but he only drinks when he has a day off from work and he only has one beer or a couple shots. And I'm okay with that because I have friends that'll have a glass of wine with dinner or whatever. Now, don't shout me down because, you know, if you can't handle that, then don't handle it. I personally don't want to be with somebody who drinks. But I was just getting to know this person. All of a sudden, one went down and the other went down and another went down. And he started getting loud and... Then he started talking about politics, and then he started going off, and then I, he was calling me other names, you know, names like uh, people's names. <laughs> I'm like, so before this, I was kind of noticing, like, it's okay to have moods. It's okay to have moods, y'all, because we all have pressure. We all have stress. It's okay to have moods, but I have come out of working so hard now I'm not saying I don't have bad days and I don't have issues and I don't have my moods but I have worked so hard to come out of that to come out of um well if you're in a bad mood you're taking it out on me because we were raised like that like you know in an Italian household and all that I came out of that I'm not about it um, this man loved God, he was saved, but he was not strong in the Lord. And one of the things he said to me, you know, and I'm finding all this out as I go along, 
It's only been about a week. And he tells me, he said, you're a strong woman. He goes, I've never, I've never met a woman so strong in the Lord like you. And I'm like, yeah. I said, because God, man, is like so important to me. Like, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be here. So it got to the point where the conversation was elevating to more like argument, argumentative. And I was like, I'm leaving, you know, I'm, I gotta go, I'm leaving, like I've had enough. And I got up and I left. And of course he reached out and, you know, apologized. I have not gotten back. I, number one, am so proud of myself that I have recognized what I don't want, what is not good for me. What I cannot go back to. I mean, the whole package was there. Good looking, great job, funny. Uh, at least I thought, if, you know, it's, it appeared that way. That's why I always say, ladies, take your time. Take your time getting to know somebody. Because if you rush in and then y'all get in your butterfly feelings, and if you have sex with somebody, see, that's what keeps people in wrong relationships is sex. And then it becomes toxic. I did not have sex with this man. I didn't even let him kiss me on the lips. No, no. I ain't having none of them spirits transferred to me. Uh-uh, no, 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 period. No, I have learned, look for the signs. The signs are around you. You don't drive down a road and not see a red light, green light, yellow light, stop sign, turn signal one way. God has put signs in the supernatural for you to see as well. And I saw that it was going back and forth. And I'm thinking, all right, well, maybe he's nervous. We're just getting to know each other, you know. No, this back and forth, unstable, an unstable mind is not good. Um, an unstable, you know, man... Uh, in your mind in all your ways unstable back and forth back and forth and i'm like uh-uh because maybe you're just not ready or or maybe you have issues that i don't know about i mean i was asking lots of questions i'm a question person i will ask a million questions not because i'm trying to get in your business or probe you it's because i'm trying to understand you i'm trying to find out who you are you know and it was disastrous y'all perfect gentleman. I didn't feel threatened in any way, but that type of relationship is not what I want. So I'm putting the decree out. Man of God, love of my life, where are you? Stand up, please in Jesus name because you know it's okay to have your arguments it's okay that, but it was out of hand and he was getting drunk and I'm like no this is not my life this is not my life anymore this is the old me this is not me I mean you say you're gonna have one but then you're up to like seven no I'm out I'm exiting ladies learn how to say no Otherwise, you will be traumatized. And if you don't say no when the toxic red flags are showing, you'll wind up having sex with that person. Then the spirit of trauma will set in. Once that spirit of trauma sets in, you're already attached to a soul. You're already attached to a soul tie. You're already in the spirit spirit realm intertwined and you can't break that. So I'm here to give God glory. I'm here to say, thank you, God. Although I have gone through tons of toxic relationships, I'm here to say, thank you, Lord, that I finally got it. I said, I'm out of here. No. No, no, no. And I'm a nice person. Like, I want to text this person back and say, you know what? That's fine. We're just not, 
on the same spiritual level. We're not, we don't agree on the same, same things. You drink, I don't, you know, whatever. I, but I'm not going to because I think if I open that door, then things can just continue. Ladies, learn how to say no and don't hop in bed with a man. Don't do it. Get to know him. This is why we get stuck around the mountain. This is why we um, fall in love with, with someone who is no good for us. What good is it if he can pay our bills? He's good in bed. He got his a nice house to put you in. Wants to buy you things and take care of you. Yet your heart is breaking. Your mind is a mess. You're mentally sick. No. No, no, no. Let me pray for you, sisters. And brothers. I know it happens to you too, brothers. But I'm just talking about my experience. Because I'm a woman and I date men. I pray for my sisters right now in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke every assignment from the enemy. That would come to try to trip them up with the wrong person in the wrong package. Lord, it might appear good because Satan always makes things look like it is the bomb. But I pray, God, that you give my sisters spiritual eyes and spiritual discernment to see beyond the flesh. That they will have patience and that they will have stability and that they won't ruin all the healing that they've come through. But that they would learn from that and that they would take those lessons from it and put it into action so that they can wait on the man of God that is about to come into their lives that will enrich it, that will build with them, that will provide for them, that will care for them, and she will be his his partner. She will build him up. She will she will have his back. She will watch for him. She will war for him. She will intercede for him. She will stand up for him. She will stand in the gap for him. She will cover him in the spirit realm. Wait, ladies, wait. So I'm just here to say, mwah, 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 glory to God. I am proud of myself. Not in pride, but I did it. I passed the test, y'all. And I'm praying for you to pass your test too. In Jesus' name. I love you. Have a great night.